Good evening from the Green Parrot Bar, Castleberry, Florida. For those not in the know, Castleberry, Florida, kind of right next door to Altamont Springs, Florida, about 15 minutes north of downtown Orlando. We've made our way out here tonight to see Enough is Enough, band from late 80s, early 90s, uh, continued on throughout the decades. Uh, formerly fronted from Donnie V, bass player Chip Zanuff. You may know them from their two big hits, Fly High Michelle and New Thing. The band is still out and about and live. They just played a show down on Key West and they're here tonight for some reason, which is really weird. Tonight is Taco Thursday and it's also Enough's Enough. Somebody just got thrown out of the bar and they're right behind me. Enough's enough. This is what we're looking like in here. Pool tables, bar, chips enough, sitting at the table over here, and a stage. Tacos in the house. And cheese curds. Not gonna lie, these are actually really delicious. I think the opening band Midnight Devils is about to come on. I say that because now I can't say anything without yelling above the music. I love Neil Young. I love this song. I also love my hearing. I mean, what's left of it at this point? Opening band due to take the stage shortly. This is the crowd situation. It's happening. The rubber band man is going to take the stage. It begins.
Can you hear us at all? Can you hear the vocals? Yeah, everything's good. Dan, Dan, you okay? I'm a party, and I'm glad you all showed up here to celebrate with enough stuff here in Casterbury. Can't remember the last time I was out here. Maybe the Poison Tour. But we're going to give you a bunch of good songs. This one you're going to love, oh, especially the new album. It's called Hard Rock Night. single night folks we really do try and do stuff we have 20 records out so very proud, very proud of that I always like going back to the first record though that was a smash played all those tours coming through Florida with Poison, Def Leppard, did the Howard Stern show and all the time to come through here in Florida was always jammed at. Just a real celebration. This next one right here, you can't go wrong with it. It's a great song to fuck to. This one's called In the Groove.
to smash. I remember Guns N' Roses did this one, not as good as this. Folks, sing along with us. This one's called Live and Let Die. back home from enough's enough and uh, actually the next day um i did want to just wrap up by saying you know i kind of went into going to see enough's enough thinking you know god it's been 34 years since uh the initial record came out and you know there was some subsequent stuff that i liked and i really enjoyed uh when uh chip and donna used to be on uh the howard stern show on a regular basis and i did get a chance to talked to Chip for a little bit um, before uh, he played and we talked about Howard and uh, the outreach and so forth but uh, you know I really went into this thinking you know um, it's kind of weird you know there's so many bands from that era I mean and I am old enough to have experienced that era um, when it happened and so many bands that just fell by the wayside and so forth I mean and, you know realistically this is like 25 percent of enough's enough um, but it's the 25 percent that really kind of matters um, i would love to see donnie back donnie v back in the band um and for i i kind of went into this thinking you know what what is it going to be like or is this a train wreck and i i can't slag them at all uh chip sounded awesome the band sounded awesome the opening band they were great and uh, the venue that was the really bizarre thing. Like, you know, we've kind of fallen from playing like a pa uh, packed Lemours or opening up for Poison on tour and big venues and, and arenas and stuff to playing uh, Chip Zanuff said it best. You know, he just played a festival down in Key West the day before, 7,000 people, and you get to Castleberry, Florida, and there's 70 people. Um, but the show uh, is no different between that 7,000 people to 70 people, like the effort and the showmanship was just there the same way. So um, kudos to them. They sounded great. I do think that there was a good bit of like Milli Vanilliism um, happening uh, with tracks. Um, and I, I didn't go back because I wanted to like quick look up, like, you know, do are they known for tracks and everything. And Chip's been kind of forthcoming uh, in the past about like not wanting to rely on things like that. But there's a lot of keys in the songs, and there's no keyboard player, um, and but there was last night, um, just, you know, out of nowhere, and I could almost swear that there's uh, additional piped-in vocals also, so I don't know if the vocals have doubled up from uh, Chip from prior, or if it's Donnie's vocals that are kind of coming in, but something's happening. But overall, show was great, that venue was great, the food was great, um, you know, uh, just weird. Castleberry, Florida is what it's come down to. I used to go see these bands all the time in Brooklyn and Queens and Manhattan, you know, um, Cat Club, Limelight, L'Amour, and Birch Hill out in New Jersey and stuff like that, and places were packed. And, you know, this is what's left of us. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get going. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night or day. We'll see you guys.